This is the all new Rodecaster Duo white version featuring the new white pod mic, the white podcast arm, and these Rode NTH 100 white headphones. Now, if you're a streamer, a content creator, or a podcaster, you should highly consider this audio setup. To be honest, I didn't think I would actually like this Rodecaster Duo, but after getting my hands on this thing, I absolutely love it. Now you can record with two XLR microphones on this thing and also you can connect a third USB microphone as long as it's one of the newer Rode mics. And I love with just the click of a button, I can add in amazing sound effects like this. Pretty cool. You're also able to bring in some music with this slider right here. Mm. You could freestyle or you could rap. Me, no, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Let's let's stop right there. <laughs> There's also really cool effects on this thing. So I'm gonna go over to the megaphone and now it, it sounds like I'm at a store. Excuse me, we have a cleanup in aisle two. The Rode Pod mic is too saucy. It's getting everywhere. I gotta stop with these dad jokes. One of my favorite things is that you can actually edit the audio coming into your microphone through the board. And so when it goes into your podcast or your video, your live stream, it sounds even better than just plugging a regular, you know, USB microphone into your computer. For example, what you're listening to right now is the pod mic with my processing to make it sound really good. And if I just turn that off, you can hear that it sounds a little bit different and a little more tinny. And so when you turn that processing back on, I think this sounds a lot better and that's one of my favorite things about this thing. After getting my hands on this thing, I realized that this really opens up the door to so many more opportunities, especially for live streaming. And we'll talk about podcasting in a second, but first I wanna share how this thing really leveled up my live streams. For example, when I'm live streaming, I never could add in those sound effects or music very easily. And I definitely didn't have any physical sliders to pull the volume up or down. And now I have all that control which I think just, it makes me feel like a legit streamer when I can just play some sound effects. I mean, come on, I just, I just feel like a streamer when I do that. And a really cool feature about this too is that you can customize your own sound effects in here. You can upload your own music. And I highly recommend if you are going to be posting, especially on YouTube or social media platforms, you need to stick with copyright free music. And that's why we love to use Epidemic Sound. And that's actually the sponsor of today's video. So all you gotta do is go to epidemicsound.com, go to their sound effects library. And in here, you can type in cash register. You can find the right sound effect that you want. You can download that and then it's really easy inside of the road central app where you can drag and drop it and then you can choose where you want it and choose the color change the name and now you have your copyright free sound effects and music right here on your caster duo if you guys want to try this out go to thinkmediasounds.com for a special offer or just check the link down in the description another cool feature that surprised me is that you can actually have bluetooth on the caster duo so you can connect your phone and actually have phone calls come through here you can play back audio recordings from people in your community who send in voice messages. And this is a really cool thing that you can just connect to your phone and then adjust the volume right here. You also have the ability to connect Rode's wireless microphone. So I love the Rode Wireless Pro microphone that just came out and we have a review video talking all about that mic, but you can connect that to this if you just need a backup recording or if you need to get another microphone on another person. And it's pretty cool that you can just connect wirelessly directly to the soundboard. Now, another reason this is great for live streaming and podcasting and content creation in general is the fact that you can edit your audio before it goes into your computer or into your camera is a game changer for me. And ultimately that just saves me even more time. Another thing to remember is this is not a cheap little audio device. This is actually kind of like a mini version as the Rodecaster Pro 2. So you're gonna get the same exact preamps as that Rodecaster Pro 2, which are very, very good. And so it's gonna make your mic Microphones sound amazing. And when you have really quiet microphones like the Shure SM7B, you don't even need a cloud lifter because the preamps on this are so good. And I thought that was really cool. Now, real quick, I do want to touch on the build quality because that is one of the things that you can't really tell when just watching a video. And so I want to tell you guys like this thing 
feels legit. This thing is expensive, but it really feels like it is worth every single dollar. Everything really about this just feels like a pro level piece of equipment. And that even transfers over into the microphone. This is my first time using the pod mic and I was really impressed with the actual build quality of this microphone. It's not crazy heavy like my Q9U. It's not made cheaply and it's a really cool microphone that just feels like it was very well made. Now I will say there is one thing that you need to know about the pod mic, which is it says it has this built in pop filter and I found that it is not as good as maybe some of the other built in pop filters. Now during this whole video, I've left a pop filter off of this so you guys could really hear what it sounds like and maybe there are no pops happening, but I did find this on b and I'll leave a link down in the description. And when I use this, it really does get rid of a lot of those pops. Let's do a quick test. This is a pop filter test popping on the Rode pod mic uh, with no pop filter. Pop filter test. This is a test with the pop filter on the Rode pod mic and hopefully there is no pops inside of the filter. I mean, inside the microphone with the filter, you get it. So let's hear how the pod mic goes up against my favorite microphone, which is four times more expensive, the Shure SM7B. Now you're listening to the Shure SM7B going directly into the Rode Duocaster. And tell me which one you guys think sounds better. Again, this is a $400 microphone versus a $100 microphone. This is what it sounds like. Let me know what you guys think. All right, now let's talk about these Rode headphones. Yes, I think they look cool. I like the all white out version, the white headphones, the white everything is pretty sweet, but I gotta say these are the comfiest headphones that I have ever used. I feel like if you are gonna go with this setup, this just matches the whole vibe and I think it looks really cool. And again, they're super comfy where if you're recording a podcast, doing a live stream, you can wear these for hours and not have any fatigue to your ears. These things are pretty lightweight and I think they just sound really good. I really like editing my audio or listening back to certain videos with these headphones. And for the podcast arm, one of the things that I've noticed with some of my podcast arms is when I tighten these knobs, I'll still have my microphone when it's in this position kind of droop down over time. And I found out maybe it's because this microphone is a little bit lighter, but maybe it's because this podcast arm is amazing, but I've just found that it does a really good job of holding it in place, which is a good thing. Now, as far as the size of this thing, I really feel like it is the perfect size for my desk setup. It is not too big where it is taking up too much space, but it's also not too small where I'm kind of accidentally hitting other buttons. So who is this setup for? Let's break it down. And first of all, the Caster Duo, it's $500. So it might not be for a lot of you out there. If you just don't have the money to spend $500 on something like this, you'll be fine You know, doing what I did in the past and just doing live streams with a USB microphone, plug straight into your computer or for your YouTube videos, and that can get you by. You don't need all of the fancy processing and the sound effects and the music, even though it is nice to have. I really think this is for a lot of the podcasters out there, especially if there's just one of you or two of you. This is a great setup where there is a ton of controls. It is super professional, and this is going to last you so many years. I have been so impressed, and I feel like I could not go back after using this. If you guys want to check out any of these products, Products, make sure to click the links down in the description. And if you want to watch a full breakdown of our video podcast for the Think Media podcast, then click on the screen, check that out, and we'll see you guys in the next video.